as you can see, I did not film an intro for this. I completely forgot. But we are going to get started with the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. And I'm just going to be putting that over my eyelids to help cover up any discoloration that we have before we go in with the eyeshadow. To set all of that concealer, we're going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And that's just going to help the concealer from creasing and if you have oily eyelids then I definitely recommend setting it with a loose powder. Jumping into the Morphe 35F palette we're going to be grabbing this brown orange shade and we're going to be using that as the transition shade. We're just going to put that all over the crease. Now I'm going to be taking this light brown shade, it's more of a brown rather than the orange that we just used, and we're going to be putting it in about the same spot, but we're also going to be dragging it down a little bit in the outer corner, and I know that it looks like there's a lot of eyeshadow on the eye, but it'll all um, look good and whenever it's done we'll clean it up and everything. For the outer corner we're going to take this brown shade and we're going to be putting it in the outer corner and bringing it up into the crease line to blend it all out so that there are no harsh lines. For the inner corner, we're gonna be taking this light shade, it's a shimmer shade, and I'm not gonna wet my brush, I'm just going to be putting it in the inner corner and dragging it to about the middle of the lid. These shadows are very pigmented, so you can wet the brush if you want or you don't need to. Now I'm just going to be taking a makeup wipe so that we can clean up the eye area. After I clean up the eyes, I'm going to be getting my mascara and eyeliner on as well. Moving on to the face, we will be taking my primer one heck of a blot. I love this primer, it keeps me matte pretty much throughout the day and it holds my foundation in place. And then we will be going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. You guys know I have been using this for quite a while now. For the concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It is in the shade Fair, and we're just going to be putting that under the eyes and in the T-zone. For the setting powder, again, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's in the shade Fair as well. And I'm just going to be baking my under eyes and setting the rest of my face. To contour, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I found this at TJ Maxx for half the price that you get it at Sephora, and I have been loving it ever since. If you do find one of these at TJ Maxx, I definitely recommend you spend the money on it because it is well worth it.
For blush, I'm also going to be using my Kat Von D. It's in the shade Mickey and Minnie. And I'm just going to be putting that on the apples of my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Casey Holmes Pearl Palette. It is the best highlighter that I owned. As you can tell, I have not put it down since I bought it. I'm going to be using the same palette, the lightest shade in that, and we're going to be putting that on the brow bone. For the under eye, I'm going to be using that dark brown shade that we used for the outer corner. As you can see, I went and fixed my hair and put on a better shirt. Now we're going to be applying this Maybelline Color Jolt Mauve shade to the lips. And here is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.